In my last video, I talked about the factors that determine the level of yield in oil palm farming. And also I discussed the four production cycle of the oil palm tree. If you have not watched this uh, last video, look out for it on this channel. It's a great content you must not miss out. So on today's episode, I'll be talking about the factors that determine the quantity and the quality of the oil or of the palm oil you'll be getting from your oil palm farm. If you're watching for the first time, my name is Lawa Lushana Lawa. I'm an agri consultant. I'm a farmer by training. I'm a farmer by education. I'm a farmer by practice. And this channel is dedicated to promote sustainable and profitable agriculture. So without wasting much of your time, what are the factors that determine the quantity and the quality of the palm oil you'll be getting from your oil palm farm. So, there are so many factors, but I'll be talking about the major factors that are determinant that will affect the quality and the quantity of the palm oil you'll be producing on your farm. So, talking about the factors that will affect the quantity of the palm oil you'll be getting, the first factor I'll be talking about is the method of processing you are using. When I talk about the method of processing, I'm actually talking about the technology, the processing. I'm talking about the, the technology you are using, the machinery you are using to extract the oil. If you are using the local method, uh, the local inefficient method, definitely you will be having less extraction rate. And if you are having less extraction rate, the efficiency of the machine is poor, definitely you'll be wasting so much oil away in the fiber and your extraction rate will be very very low so the efficiency of the machine you are using matters most when we come when we talk about the quality uh, the quantity of the oil you will be getting from your palm fruit so you should actually put it at the back of your mind the better the machinery the better your oil mill the, the, the higher the quantity of the palm oil you'll be getting so the number two factor I'll be talking about that will actually affect the quantity of the palm oil you'll be getting from your oil palm fruit is the time of harvesting. We have wrong time and we have the right time. If you harvest very early, you'll be having low, low content of oil in your, in your, in your uh, oil palm bunch. And if you harvest very late, you will also be having low content of oil because both harvesting late and harvesting too early will affect the quantity of the oil negatively. So how do we know the best time for us to, for, to actually uh, harvest our oil palm uh, bunch? So it goes beyond the color when it is ripe. Everybody can know when the oil palm bunch is ripe. But there's one secret to it. Whenever an oil palm or oil, oil bunch is ripe, you actually see some maybe like three to five fruit dropping at the base of the tree. At that time, that is the best time for you to actually harvest. When those like three to five fruit drop on their own, they lose on their own and they drop on the ground. Definitely, that time is the best time for you to actually harvest. When you harvest at that time, you'll be having free flow of more oil. You'll be having more oil to extract from the bunch. So, having said that, the last but not the least, and I know most of us must have known about this, but I just need to hammer it again. The level, the quantity of the oil you'll be getting also depend, depend majorly on the variety of the palm you planted on your farm. If you are planting dura, you will not be expecting much oil like somebody who planted a tenera hybrid. So before I move on to the to the uh, factors that determine the quality of the palm oil, I will actually have I, I want to actually uh, spell out one inf important information about uh, the percentage of palm oil you can get from your bunch. So the percentage of palm oil you can actually get from the bunch or from a ton of bunch is within 20 to 25 percent 
not everything from the bunch is palm oil. And not everything from the, ho uh, from the bunch is palm carne oil. Not everything from the bunch is fiber. So, bunch of palm fruit consists a whole lot of product. Over 27 products. So, but the palm oil content of an average bunch is between 20% to 25% content. So, let us get this right. So, talking about the factors that will affect the quality of the palm oil you will be getting from your extraction process. Now, the first factor here is the time of processing. The time of processing. What I mean by the time of processing is that from the time you harvested your bunch to the time you started processing your palm oil. So due to the nature of the palm bunch, that is when you first harvest, it's very, very difficult for you to detach all those palm fruits from the bunch. And it is, it's a kind of having some kind of spike that can actually injure somebody. So some people locally, what they do is that they will gather the bunch and they will leave it maybe for five days, for a week. Some people for 10 days. So before they will come back and beat the bunch so that the fruit will drop easily. So this is a very, very bad practice because doing this will make the palm bunch to go into a kind of fermentation and this will increase the FFA content. What we call the FFA content is the free fatty acid. And when this content is more than 5%, the oil will not be exportable. You cannot export this kind of oil because they consider it not fit for human consumption again. But you know, in Nigeria, anything goes. Nobody is testing anything. So, but if you want to get the best quality of oil from your palm bunch, immediately after harvesting, the best time for you to process, start processing your palm oil is within 24 hours to 48 hours of harvesting. So if you have a way of decuttering, of decuttering the, the palm, uh, the palm uh, bunch and making sure you get out the, the, the fruit within 24 hours to 48 hours is the best for you. Because when you process within 24 hours to 48 hours, you'll be having the best quality of oil you'll be assured of. So another thing is that when people process, when people process too late, you will be having a very, very thick oil. All those thick oil you see in the market is because the bunches have been packed for so long, maybe two weeks before they start processing. And what is telling you is that the FFA content is very, very high. The best type of palm oil is that very light one that usually comes at the top. And when you process within 24 hours, 90% of the oil you'll be getting would be in that form. Very red and very, very light. That is the exportable type of the palm oil I'm actually talking about. So, the second factor that will determine the quality of your palm oil is the method of processing. When I talk about the method of processing, I'm talking about the local one whereby you use the crude method. So, what the, what the local people actually do is that they boil the palm fruit, which is not advisable. You don't boil your palm fruit. You only need to blanch or to parboil. You, the palm fruit doesn't need to come in contact with the water. You just you put it in a tank. You put a false bottom tank. You set fire and under it, and the steam from the water will actually boil. Uh, will actually parboil the the palm fruit. So when you boil the palm fruit is, instead of parboiling is another wrong way. And also, after the milling of something, you they will cook it again. Some people will even fry it. They call it cooking or frying, which is not supposed to be so. You what you are need what you need to do is to clarify. After clarification, then you can stop. So it is actually very very advisable to use. There are many many. Uh, for example, in Nifo, they have actually built a complete set of meal that contain the fruit, uh, the screen, the digester, the clarifier, the parboiler, everything. It comes with a tank. It comes with like eight components. You can actually secure it and you'll be rest assured of your production. And also when you process locally, you have so many impurities 
in your in your palm oil you will have so many impurities and it will not be clean so these are the factors that actually are determining the quality of the palm oil you'll be getting uh, from your processing with this i've come to the end of today's uh, video and i hope you got value one way or the other if you are actually watching for the first time this channel is dedicated to promote sustainable and profitable agriculture so why not consider clicking on this channel and subscribe to this channel to have access to more of my videos thank you so much and see you on my next video Shishi.